Hey guys, today I am bringing you my March wrap-up video where I'm going to be talking about the books that I read in the month of March. I didn't read all the books that were on my TBR because I set myself a little bit too of an over-ambitious TBR. I should have known better. But I did read some books that I've been meaning to read for a long time now, so it was really nice to get to those books and to finally complete them. So without further ado, let me show you the books that I read in the month of March. The first book I read this month is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is the sixth book in the Mortal Instruments series. Just like all the books in the Mortal Instruments series, this book was a lot of fun and really interesting. I just love seeing how this series interweaves with the Infernal Devices because the Infernal Devices is now like one of my all-time favorite trilogies and so I really enjoy seeing how this series kind of weaves together with the Infernal Devices. So overall I did really enjoy this book and I'm happy that I read it. I'm not going to go much farther about my thoughts on this book but I did do a full video book review on this book so if you want to hear all my thoughts I will leave a link down below to that book review so go check that out. Thank I randomly picked up Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins, and this is the second book in the Rebel Bell trilogy. I needed something short and quick to take with me while I was traveling this past month, so instead of lugging around City of Heavenly Fire with me, this big old dang book, I decided to pick up Miss Mayhem, which I'm really happy that I did pick this book up because I've been meaning to read this book for the longest time. Unfortunately, I didn't love this book as much as I loved Rebel Bell. Rebel Bell just had so much humor and a really interesting plot, and it also had just loads of fun little twists, but Miss Mayhem to me just felt like such a filler book and that really disappointed me because I had high hopes for the second book just because I loved Rebel Bell so much. So I think I kind of went into Miss Mayhem with a little bit of too high expectations. The humor in this one just felt a little bit too forced whereas in Rebel Bell it just felt so natural. But there are still a lot of fun unexpected moments that happen throughout the story and I still really enjoyed my time reading this book. It just wasn't as good as the first book but I am really interested to see where this trilogy goes and how it comes to a close with the last book. But overall this book just wasn't my fave. I do have a full video book review and discussion on this book, so if you want to hear all my thoughts, I will leave a link to that down below. Then I read Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell, and this is a short story that was released in the UK as a part of World Book Day. This short story follows this girl by the name of Elena, and she's this massive Star Wars fan, and so she decides to go to the movie theater and wait four days for the release of the newest film. She kind of goes to this line having expectations that it's just going to be this massive Star Wars party, but that's definitely not the case. When she gets there, there's only two other people in line, and so it kind of ends up being a miserable experience. That is until she gets to know the other people in line a lot better. And this was so freaking good. It had that charming Rainbow Rowell writing style, and the overall story was just so great, and I wasn't expecting her to go as deep as she did with the characters, just because it's a short story, and I wasn't sure how much she was going to be able to cover, but she really goes deep with these characters, and you get to know so much about them in such a short amount of time. And I just left this short story wanting more. I know that Kindred Spirits is kind of hard to find, but if you can get your hands on this, I would highly recommend checking it out, especially if you love other books by Rainbow Rowell. And then I finally read City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, the final book in the Mortal Instruments series. I finally finished this dang series. It's taken me forever and a day. I think this deserves a little victory dance. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Finish the Mortal Instruments! Yeah, 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 yeah! Apparently it needed a victory song as well. I really enjoyed this finale. For the most part, it was really satisfying. There are some heartbreaking moments within this conclusion. My main complaint is that the first chunk of this story just really dragged, and it took forever to get to the really good parts. But those good parts, guys, they completely made up for the first chunk of this book. I do have a full video review and discussion on this book, so if you want to know all my thoughts, I will leave a link to that down below. Then I read the novellas Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, me. There are 10 novellas, and this was the perfect thing to read right after City of Heavenly Fire, because you leave City of Heavenly Fire being like, oh man, like I'm so sad that the story is coming to a close, I'm gonna miss these characters. But then, you got Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, and you see everybody from the Mortal Instruments series in these novellas. So I didn't even have to miss these characters, I just jumped into Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, and they were all there, and I got to see them again, and it was great. I decided to read this set of novellas because Pull and Banana's books had highly recommended recommended reading this before Lady Midnight, and there are definitely some setting stones for things that happen in Lady Midnight, so if you have not read Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, you totally should. Throughout the story, you're following Simon at Shadowhunter Academy, and it's just a lot of fun, and I loved having Simon as the main focus because Simon is one of my all-time favorite characters. I also have a full video review and discussion on this book, so if you want to hear all my thoughts and opinions and feels on this book, I will leave a link to that down below. Then I read some comic books, I'm not going to go into 
full detail about these either because I have a comic book reviews video about all these comics, which I will leave a link to down below. But I'll just quickly show you the comics that I read this month. The first being Deadpool, Dead Presidents, Spider-Gwen, Volume 0, Most Wanted, Young Avengers, Volume 3, Mic Drop at the Edge of Time and Space, The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 2, Fandemonium, and finally, Miss Marvel, Volume 3, Crushed. I think my favorite out of all of these would definitely have to be Young Avengers, Volume 3. If you have not checked out this run of Young Avengers, I would highly recommend it, especially if you're wanting to get into comics. I think that this would be a great place to start. So find Young Avengers Volume 1 and check it out. It's fantastic. Though I will say that it is kind of hard to find this run of Young Avengers because I think it's out of print, but I think there is an omnibus, so like a bind up of the whole series. So I definitely recommend checking these out. So those are all the books that I read in the month of March. You guys should let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. Also let me know down below what your favorite read was from the month of March. I honestly think my favorite read from this month was Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy. It was just so much fun and I loved kind of following Simon's adventure. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, chew! Itchy nose, itchy nose, nose is always itchy. My door keeps slightly opening on its own. I think there's a ghost in here. There are so many scents. Scents? I meant to say hints.